Previously, we say that the shirt seller can create 1,000 pages to link to his page and source the page rank score. And this is actually a very commonly used technique by spammers, and it's called spam farming. And let's, let's talk about this in detail. So Google versus spammer round two. And here, spam farms were developed to concentrate page rank on a single page. And the idea is basically to create link structures that can boost page rank of a one particular page. And apparently we have three kinds of web pages from a spammer's point of view. We have the uh, inaccessible pages, which the spammers cannot touch. And these can be some government homepages, for example. And we also have accessible pages, um, for example, some blog commons pages. And the spammers can post links in these pages and link them to, uh, to the target pages. And we also have the owned pages by the spammer. And these are the pages that, that are completely controlled by the spam. And the spammer can also spam multiple domain names. And this, as owners, they can also freely insert any link to the target pages. So the spammer's goal is to maximize the page rank of one particular target page T. And the techniques they can use First of all, they can get as many links from the accessible pages as possible to the target page T. And second, they can construct a link farm and use using their own pages to get page rank multiplier effect. For example, this is this is one of the most common and effective organizations for a link farm. We can see that we have we have the inaccessible pages, we have accessible pages, and then we have the, the spammers own pages. In accessible pages, we'll link to uh, the uh, accessible pages, and of course, there will be links back to the inaccessible pages. And apparently, these accessible pages will have some amount of, uh, of page rank score. And by inserting links in these accessible pages and point to them, to the target page, some um, page rank score of these pages can be propagated to the target to the target pages. And on the other hand, the spammers can also create millions of farm pages because they can they have control over over their domain names and the servers. They can create as many pages as possible, and they can use these farm pages to link back to the target page to get some page rank score. Note that although there are no pages linked to the farm, farm pages here, but we can see that a lot of inaccessible pages actually may link to the accessible pages. And the accessible page will link to the target page, right? So the target page already gets some page rank score. And the, and the target page, will link to the to the farm pages therefore it will propagate some of the page rank score to the farm pages therefore the farm pages here actually do have some page rank score and next let's analyze this structure in detail let's say that s is the page rank score contributed to to the target page by these accessible pages. And why is the actual page rank score of the target page T? And let's say that the page rank score of each farm pages is actually equal to uh, beta times Y over M plus one minus beta over M. Why is this? This is because remember that we have the target page pointed to the to each farm page in the farm links, in the, in the link farms, right? So basically each of the farm page will get a page rank score of Y over M. Here M is the number of, uh, number of farm pages that the spammer owns. And we have also the teleport effects 
therefore we have this second term here. And then since this target page will get the page rank score from both the accessible pages and the found pages, therefore it will have at least three terms. The first term will be just X and this is the page rank score it gets from, from the accessible pages. And the second term will be about the, the found pages. And this is beta times M times this whole thing. And why is this? This is because each of this found page actually link only to the target page, right? So basically this target page will get all of the, all of the page rank score from the found pages. Therefore, and we have M found pages, therefore we have this M multiplier here. So the first term, uh, the first term will be X, the second term will be, will be here. And the third term will be just a teleport term. And since this teleportance is actually very small, remember the n here is actually the number of uh, total number of pages on the web. So this is a very large number. Therefore, the third term will be extremely small. Therefore, we can now ignore this last term and we can solve for y using this equation here. And the answer would be, would be that y would be equal to x over one minus beta square plus plus a constant times m over n. And here c is just a constant, which is beta over one plus beta. We can see that we have two terms here. And the first term would be the page rank score that the target page got from the accessible pages. And let's say that uh, the beta is 0 0.85. Therefore, the number of one over one minus beta squared is actually 3.6. This is actually larger than one. Therefore, it's actually a multiplier of X. And therefore, it has a multiplier effect for the acquired page rank from the accessible pages. Right? And let's look at the second term. The second term here, although N might be extremely large, the number of, the number of pages that the spammer can own can also be very large. Therefore, by making this N very large, the spammers can actually make Y as large as we want.